That's not creepy. When I was an annoying teen, I worked at Canada's Wonderland. It's like a uh, Six Flags. I basically worked there the whole month of Halloween. They would do this like huge haunted thing in the park. The whole park was a scare zone. Honey, I'll just be here while you go get the funnel cakes. They don't scare outside the mazes, do they? This theme park did it up big. Like big, like big time. Year one and two were insane. Company went like completely out of budget. Bam, right from the get go. I mean like way over budget. Now you want the fog everywhere? Like the whole 300 acres? Yeah. It was terrifying. Even for employees, <laughs> no one was safe. The people that worked there were scared, even me. I would literally run right to the lunchroom. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I called this event Halloween Haunt. So here I am to create panic and anxiety disorders. I was a scary clown. I was a, I was a scary clown in a haunted circus themed maze. This is literally what I had to hear on loop. The whole six hours shift. But you couldn't even tell who I was. I was taller. I was like standing on boxes. I was in this dark pink furry carpet room like with clown stuff and there was like so many monsters so many clowns in one maze there was this other dude that had a costume it was basically made from the same materials as like the furry wall he was like super camo like completely invisible until you turned around dude the person that designed this maze sick I wish it was me. So the kid would blend into the wall. No one saw him. I would scare people and then they would turn around and then he would scare them again. I literally saw a grown ass adult jump six feet into a wall. Wow, good times. So I loved it. So basically the first week of October is kind of lame. <laughs> Maze architects are like adjusting walls to make it like feel and look scarier. How do I make this scarier? By week three, it's terrifying. I really gotta stop with that. Everyone's mastered their scary laugh by then. Ah, they really know who their character is. Their hopes, their dreams, favorite movie. I like The Shining. <laughs> all the all the monsters had like real time practice by then in the park. That's when you would see like boyfriends use their girlfriends as shield. Honey. That's when you would hear babies cry. Who brings babies to this? Their character scare timing is a perfect. The lineup to get into the circus tent is like a mile long. Watch this clip that I found online on YouTube. This is literally the same time that I was in that theme park working. Okay, we're about to go into clown maze. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm scared. Let's see what it is. Oh crap. This is the mirror room. I mean, it's really hard to tell, but you can see how like it's really dark people are screaming constantly there's like strobe lights you can't see anything your heart is racing you're slightly scaring your own self as soon as you hear the first people coming it's go time they're slowly walking towards you unknowingly blinded unaware of their fate as soon as you scare them they scream regret their life just jumps right out of their body you are a machine gun of scares it was my home. Sweet Jesus, help me! So comfortable. <laughs> Mainly because I knew what it looked like with the lights on. Like a pile of shit. Only with a slight move. <laughs> or a fall to the ground. Frozen. Or some people were just too scared to move. I could have walked anywhere behind the scenes of the maze. So for example, sometimes I would scare a couple. I would listen carefully. I listen for their names. Jordan, stop! First name. Katie, stop pushing! Second name. And then I would just quickly jump into the employee only section where you can't see me. I run to the next room where they're gonna go next. They're like in the room of mirrors. And then I would say their names. That would scare them so, that usually scared them so good. So creepy. Y'all have to call chicken. People that didn't want to continue, they would have to scream chicken. And then someone, not a clown, would lead them out. Could you imagine if it was a clown leading them out? <laughs> like a clown grabbing you and dragging you to like behind the scenes. I mean, sometimes I would stick my head out of the tent to get some air. Then I forgot I had a mask on and there would be like a long, you know, mile long lineup to get in. And then guests would see you. Keep in mind, one, they're outside. Two, they're in a lineup. And, and three, they're safe from you. They would still jump and scream. Basically scare a whole section of the lineup. I just want a fresh air. A small break. Hashtag monsters need breaks too. I was always welcoming unsuspecting scares. Oh my God, I can't wait to get in. 
But sadly, some things come to an end. By the time the fourth week came around, it was a write-off. Actually, I was just too lazy to show up for shifts. Sometimes I think about like doing it again. That's not weird at all. <laughs> Take all my vacation just to scare off people. Anyways, what did you think of the story? I would love to hear what you think. Write in the comments below. If you made it this far, please share it on Facebook. Like if you want. Happy Halloween. You guys keep your vlog out for life. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week for another vlog.